Good morning, YouTube. I was asked for a video, like a full walk around of the Jeep, give it, you know, tell, explain the system and everything and what's in it. So, hell, that sounds like fun. Sounds like a decent video. So let's get to it. Here, we got a winch bumper. No, we're, we're not even doing that. Uh, we got my Amish battery box and I made my own fuse holders there. And that should look great. I mean, it works. Down here, we got a Brand X, uh, I think it's 320, Auto Tech 390. I really like this Auto Tech alternator a lot better. It just, the feel of it and everything, it just seems like a way wetter, better built unit to me. But if you like Brand X, hey, it's all good. Whatever works for you, right? We got two 10 inch Neos in each door, DS18, two hybrid tweeters in each door. Two DS18 horns in each door. Uh, universal power window switch. I did my own power windows in here. This is a recliner re uh, release for like the feet on a recliner. Works great for a door handle. My A pillars over there have like a three and a half inch DS18 and a scar tweeter. Uh, my head unit is a KMMX 704 Kenwood. It does not have a CD player. One thing I never understood about Pioneer, what the damn PRS 80 that everybody loves, it's got a damn CD player in it. Nobody has owned a CD in like 20 years. That I never understood that. Fat Boy Regulator. That's how I keep my voted John Point in here. Them Fat Boy Regulators, that's where it's at. And I have four Pride Audio TV 315s. You still have a three inch coil in them. They're heavy little woofers. I really like them. They get loud and they handle abuse. I mean, they take a lot of power. They don't get hot and stinky unless I've been demoing for hours. And that's just because they got a shitload of power to them and they will get hot. Alrighty. Door number two. This bad boy VFL here. It's a hybrid rated at 250 by four. And this thing ain't never gonna see 250 by four, but I just bridge it in two channel to run my horns. It seems like it does good for that. Now these little def bunts, this is another full bridge amp. This little thing I do way past 300 by four. And I got this on my A pillars and my tweeters only. Now I have a DS18 full bridge 5K. These amps actually put out more power than rated. Jason Jones at Jones Subwoofer Solutions, his YouTube is Face Kicker. He tested a uh, 3K like this, and it actually did a little more than rated. So I think it did uh, rated power at 2 ohm versus 1, which was really impressive. But I got two of them 5Ks, one for the 10s in each door. So that's like my right door, left door, just on the 10s. We got this DS18 DSP. I haven't done a video on DSPs, but I would really recommend if you have a big system and you're wanting your mids and highs to get on point, sound good and everything, get a DSP and learn how to use that bad boy. They're not really hard to uh, set up and they're well worth it. I actually like took the caps that were soldered to my tweeters and everything off and just set the crossover points on the DSP and everything's been going great. And then back here, we have four of these DS18 KO, well, they're the HKO8 hooligan amplifiers. These are Korean. They are made in Korea. The amp said made in Korea on the back. The box says made in Korea. And it is the same amp that DD just released that they call their new M series. Uh, Sam at Bear Vids did a video on the DD and he confirmed this is pretty much, this is the same amp. Uh, it's the same technology as like the saw amp. So only difference is these handle more voltage. I run these bitches at 16 volt, but I got an 8K per 15. And these put out a whole lot more power than uh, my tar amps MD8Ks did. Like way more power. I like them. They're good looking amps and I've had really good luck with them. And sound quality and the lows are a lot stronger with these versus my tar amps. I got some fans peeking around there. Yeah, there's one there too. 
That show was running real hot. I had to close the hatch to keep the air whipping around here, you know, but it's all good. And last but not least, we have the Creme de la Creme in this bad boy, the C-Max. I just have a 135 C-Max in here. With the two alts, my voted stays strong as hell. And believe it or not, these uh, HKO hooligans, they're easier on my electrical than the tar amps were. Like, they're way more efficient. Uh, Derek Willis and Audio Labs, he did, you know, Big D Wiz, he did uh, a test on one of the DS18 hooligan KO uh, amps and... It was one of the most efficient amps he ever had on his dyno, he said. He said it was super efficient. It did more than rated, and he was happy with it. I'm happy with it. So I guess that's why they're a lot easier on my electrical than the tar amps. But I do love C-Max. C-Max is the way to go. Um, the only problem with C-Max, you do have to charge. I'd say they're not beneficial if you're not at least 15.5. I mean, I know the minimum you can charge them is 14.8, but you don't really see any benefits from it. Like, the life on it is a whole lot longer. And I'm not talking, like, lifespan years. I'm talking the reserve capacity and everything is way better above 15.5. And, you know, I guess that's it. I mean, I got some down-for-sound wire in here. Yeah, use my down-for-sound affiliate link. It's in my bio on here. Really good wire. Super flexible. I like it. Um... I do still have some welding cable ran back here. Like, here's two runs from my alternator. That's welding cable, but for all my amplifiers, I am using that down for sound, like even the little four gauge. I believe this wire comes from the same place that Scott High gets their wire, so I think it's pretty much the same as Scott High. I just, I'd rather support JP, you know. Can't go wrong with them from down for sound. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the ship box. And who can figure out what my license plate says? <laughs> they wouldn't give me shitting on them. I wanted shitting on them. I tried to order it, but they would not give me shitting on it. So, yeah, guys, this has been a pretty cool little video. I like my white steering wheel. I was demoing one day, and it did knock a bolt out, and I can't find it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to go over the bass knob. I really like this bass knob. It's comfortable. Uh but nothing will replace my 20 hertz labs base knob that i used to have and i'm trying to get the guy that owns 20 hertz lab make me another one but i'm not having no luck yet but uh anyway this is a down for sound knob this is actually a, like an aluminum body rubber grip on it really comfortable but it's heavy and uh it does have a voltmeter and i do like the fact that the rca is plug in the bottom of it versus the long cable rcas because that's what i kill on every base knob that i have ever had oh i got one more thing to show you see that black box that black box that's my speedometer guys uh the base literally like broke my factory speedometer to where it was only reading me doing like 35 mile an hour no matter what i could be at a red light it'd say 35 i could be doing 70 it would say 35 and sometimes the needle would stick all the way down here at the bottom. It would just hang there. So I found this on Amazon. I just looked up like GPS speedometer. I plugged the cable in. It's a USB cable. I bought one of them cheap things. You plug in a cigarette lighter, took it apart, put a hot and ground wire on it, wired it to ignition and my dash wiring. And it's good to go. So if you're having speedometer problems, this thing works really good. The only issue with it, it takes... At some places, it takes like a minute before to connect to the satellite, but sometimes it's quicker. But other than that, once it connects, it's fine. And if you're running bigger tires or whatever and didn't gear for it, it can help with that too. All in all, guys, that is the shit box, pretty much in its entirety. I mean, I really didn't go over the enclosure. It's just a sixth order. I designed it. I built it. It's built out of pine plywood. I know everybody says you can't get loud with pine. I do 64s of pine. Uh, it is triple layered. Got a lot of steel bracing in it. So, I mean, other than that, that's it. I've kind of done a video on here covering how I built my doors and everything. And that's pretty much it. So, everybody, if you watch this, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and, uh, you know, 
stick around. I'll do more videos. I'm trying to do some kind of like daily. So everybody have a great day.